taking care of little Columbia here. Seriously. I, I mean, I love my kitty. Oh, aren't you wonderful? But that's as close as I really want to get to being an actual mother. And there's nothing wrong with that. I don't have a role somebody assigned to me. I pick my own way. A lot of us do. All of us should. That's freedom. Freedom is wonderful. I mean, seriously, if I didn't have freedom, then heaven, paradise, it can't exist. And being beholden to your God is the opposite of having freedom. It's just that simple. Now the question is this, why would God make people gay? And that's the assumption that he made you gay, when the Bible clearly says God only made two people, Adam and Eve, and they, they weren't gay. In fact, they were sinless, and they were given a choice to love and obey God, and yet they chose to disobey God, and thus engaged in a sinful behavior, thus rendering them sinners, and then we were born into a sinful, fallen condition. And your all-loving, all-powerful God just let this happen, couldn't fix it, couldn't see it coming in the first place, even though he's supposed to be all-knowing. Really? Uh, come on. Assuming the fucker exists at all, your god is a dick. I keep telling ya. And if you have questions about Adam and Eve, like why would God make them knowing they would disobey and other considerations like that, I actually made a video where I answer at great length uh, many of the considerations uh, regarding Adam and Eve. Well, to be perfectly honest, Sean, I can only stomach so much of your stuff, but I'll give it a look at some point, I guess. Still, I can't imagine it's anything other than prevarication, but I'll withhold judgment till I watch the fucking video. Now, you may have heard Christians or people in the clergy who say, well, I'm a Christian and I think homosexuality is okay. And while that may sound really nice because we all want to accommodate everyone, I think that's a great disservice not just to the Bible and what it teaches, but also to the person you're telling that to because you're deceiving them. Well, either that or you're actually wrong about God, Sean. Have you ever considered that possibility? When the Bible clearly says, if you want to follow Christ, you have to choose to take up your cross and deny yourself. Deny myself, Sean? I, no. No. I'm not going to do that. Until and unless someone can show me, in a way that does not require faith, that heaven is real and I get into it by following your stupid book, I'm going to follow my own path. That's just all there is to it. I'll do my damnedest not to hurt people, but I'm sorry, I'm not going to go around denying myself my entire life for a very, very, very uncertain reward from a God I don't approve of going to a place, heaven, that frankly doesn't sound like paradise to me because all you're supposed to do is spend your time worshiping God. Where's the fun in that? I'm sorry, no. I want to have a good time with my life. I want to enjoy my existence. And I'm not going to do that by denying myself. No. The idea that, you know, well, if I feel this way, that I'm a homosexual, then God must be okay with it, because I wouldn't feel this way if he wasn't. Well, then why does the Bible tell us we have to deny ourselves? Because it was written by human masochists. Have you ever considered that possibility, Shawnee Boy? We are aware that the human condition is such that many people, each and every one of us at one time or another, are attracted to doing the wrong thing. But Sean, did you ever consider that you might be wrong about what the wrong thing is? If it turns out that your God is not real, then that book of yours and all the rules in it, well, they're not real either. They're made up by fallible humans, and there's no reason we should trust them. So, uh, until and unless you can prove that that book is true, I'm not following it. It's that simple. And so, what is, what is a person to do? Is the homosexual not to ever know true love, never to have a relationship with another person because they have to deny themselves, because they have to acknowledge that they have a sin nature and that they have to obey God and, and, and simply abstain? You know, is that really fair? Is, is it fair for them to be born with a, a nature that makes them want to do certain things and, and they can't fulfill them? To be honest, no, it's not fair. And your God is a dick for making it that way. At the same time, I will say this. There are solutions for the person who says, you know what, God, I acknowledge that you tell me it's wrong, and I honor, I want to honor what you commanded more than I want to fulfill my own desires. 
Sorry, Venom, but no. I am not going to spend my entire life being miserable, never getting to have what I want, while straight people get to have the joy of their lives just to satisfy your god's fucking ego. It's not gonna happen. If your god wanted to come up with rules that didn't actually make the rest of us miserable, well, you know, maybe I'd consider following the fucker if he'd actually prove he was real. But the way things are, no. I'm sorry. I am not going to be miserable for your god's entertainment. No. And so the homosexual community, I find, has been so alienated from God because, first of all, you have the so-called Christians who are saying God hates you. So that's not an incentive to, uh, first of all, come to Christ. Why would they if they're getting a message of hatred? And they have no ability to stop sinning because the Bible says that they're a slave to sin and no one is a slave willing, willingly and they were born that way. That, and some of us don't even see it as sin in the first place. I mean, again, nobody gets hurt, we enjoy it, and everyone's happy, except for the folks who think there's this God that objects to it. And, you know, you can't even prove your God is real, and you can't even prove that what you believe about your God is real, given that, you know, the Abrahamic God has at least three religions tied to it that say, no, no, we have the true word and all of that stuff. I mean, why should any of us trust you when, in fact, what we can do is find pleasure in our own lives and find other people who find our pleasure also pleasurable, and everyone's happy? You know, where's, where's the problem? Where's the fucking sin? Really? I mean, why should your God hate that? You'd, you'd think that a loving God would want the best for us, would want for us to be happy. And if he saw some sort of taint in us, he'd fucking fix it. Well, your God hasn't fixed it. And your God clearly could. So I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Sean, but... There's, there's no way, I, I don't buy your story about your God, and I, I think that if your God did exist, that none of this would ever be an issue. So I, I just, I don't buy what you're selling. I really don't. And until we start presenting that message, it's not going to make sense to them. We're going to alienate them from God, but we're going to make them hate God even more than they already possibly do, because they, they feel they have a, a desire within them which God is telling them they can't fulfill. That must be very frustrating indeed. I got news for you over here, Sean. The fact is that that message is a large part of what alienates a lot of us from God in the first place. Uh, the fact is that your message isn't any better than the folks who say that God hates fags. It's really not. Because basically you are saying that God hates fags. Like it or not, you're telling us we can't be who we are because of God's command. That is, God hates fags. You're just not saying it in the nasty, rude way. What more do you want? I mean, that's just the facts. So what's, what is someone to do? If you're of the mind, you know what? I am going to repent from sin, and regardless of how strong my feelings are towards my, my sexual desires, I'm going to deny myself as best as I can and follow after Christ. What am I now to do? Am I meant to be single for the rest of my life? I've heard many success stories of gay men marrying lesbian women. Well, let's see. I'm a lesbian. Hmm, I gotta find a gay guy to get hitched to. Nah, Prof MTH is already married. Uh, wait a minute. I've got it. I'll get married to you, Venom. You're, you're gay, right? I, at least that's what I thought. Anyway, not the point, not the point. Point is, no, I don't want to get married to any man, gay or straight. I want to get married to a woman if I ever get married. And right now, I just want to have a couple of dates or something. Maybe once in a while, get down and do nasty, you know what I mean? I mean, come on. And don't get me started on that whole no sex before marriage thing. I wouldn't buy a car I hadn't test driven either. I'm just saying. They're willing to say, God, you come first before you... Before me. I'm putting God before myself. And that's exactly what we all need to do. But why? Why would we need to do that? Why would God even want that? Why would an all-powerful, all-knowing, all-loving God say, me first? No, 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 I, I come before all of you. You know, I don't have any needs because I'm all-powerful. I don't have any wants because I'm all-powerful and I know everything. But no, no, I come first. I'm better than all of you. You treat me as number one over here, you know? I mean, come on. How does that make any fucking sense? It doesn't, Sean. It doesn't make sense. Your God is a dick. 
assuming he exists at all, which I don't think he does. He sounds like the creation of imaginative humans to me. Just saying. And so I hope this video was, while many people may disagree with some of the things that I say, is a biblical perspective. It's an honest perspective. I'm not teaching a message of hatred. Horseshit, Sean. What you've said is God hates fags. You've dressed it up to be all nicey-nice, but that's basically, in essence, what you've just said. You've said, you're gay, God doesn't like it, you have to change it. That's God hates fags, Sean, like it or not. If God loved fags, if God was okay with fags, well, hey, then he'd have no problem whatsoever with people being homosexual and acting on it. No, you've said God hates fags. Till next time, fellow space travelers, this is Bionic Dan saying, don't be fooled, don't run on automatic, think. Ignorance killed the cat. Curiosity was framed.